It's our hope that we're enjoying the updates from wherever you are viewing. This is KDF News and I'm Private Kibonga Ferdinand. Chiefs of Defense Forces from East African Community Partner States on 6th June 2022 met at Goma, Democratic Republic of Congo, to agree on the initial modalities of establishing a regional force that will assist in the restoration of peace and security in the country. Our reporter, Sergeant Caroline Ghana, covered the event and prepared the story in details. Let's have a look. The strategic meeting by the chiefs is a follow-up of the heads of state conclave held in Nairobi, Kenya on 21st of April 2022 that directed on planning, accelerated establishment, and urgent deployment of a regional force to commence with immediate effect to help contain and where necessary fight the negative forces in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. The Democratic Republic of Congo Chief of General Staff General Celestin Mbala Musense welcomed the CDFs to DRC and thanked them for attending the meeting. He reiterated the willingness to restore peace in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo and the East Africa sub-region by the East African Community Heads of State. It is on the basis of the recommendations resulting from the conclave of the Excellencies, the heads of the states of the ESC member uh, countries that the President of the Democratic Republic of Congo, His Excellency uh, Felix Gisquedi, the Chilombo instructed me to invite you to this strategic meeting. The Chief of General Staff stated that the regional heads of state have called upon the local armed groups to surrender and lay down their arms unconditionally, cease hostilities, and return to their countries of origin. Kenya's Chief of Defense Forces, General Robert Kiboshi, appreciated DRC for the warm welcome and excellent hospitality. General Robert Kibochi, who is also the chairman of the Chiefs of Defense Forces of the East African Community Partner States, noted that Congo was admitted as a new member into the East African Community, technically expanding the community from the Indian Ocean to the Atlantic. We, as the Defense, defense Chiefs, have been mandated uh, to implement the ESC Heads of States decisions for the establishment of a regional force to help contain and, where necessary, fight the negative forces. It is necessary to clearly define the security threats and critically analyze the force requirement to help in situating the specific tasks that must be assigned to the forces. Further, options for force sustainability ought to be given the highest uh, priority. Finally, a clear coordination mechanism for other actors within theater will be necessary to guarantee synergy in operations. The CDFs agreed on the initial modalities of establishing a regional force by signing an agreement which will foresee each state participate in the stabilization of Democratic Republic of Congo. Thereafter, paid a courtesy call with MONUSCO Force Commander General Marcos da Faso da Costa at the MONUSCO Force Headquarters in Goma. General Kibochi also visited and interacted with the Kenyan Quick Reaction Force deployed at Kiwanja, where he was briefed on security situation in the region. Nimekuwa nikipata uh, reports uh, on a daily basis uh, on the performance of this particular contingent, uh, this first QRF. And uh, you have done a commendable job uh, since you came. Mumekuwa uh, na kazi nzuri, mumeweka nidhamu katika nyinyi wenyewe na hivyo ndivyo inatakana. Afterwards, General Kibuchi attended a presentation by the Expanded Joint Verification Mechanism Committee EJVM in Goma, where he was briefed on the security and humanitarian situation in the Great Lakes region. Reporting for KDF News from Goma in Democratic Republic of Congo, my name is Sergeant Caroline Ghana. Thank you for watching KDF News. Remember to follow us on our social media handles for these and more stories. My name is Private Kibwanga Ferdinand.